All right, let's welcome the actual under 13 girls Samoan team coming on to field one. Welcome back to those uh, of you tuning online. Broadcast proudly brought to you by the Maroons Foundation. Great supporters of this carnival. And the war cries just about to commence. There it is, passion and pride, absolutely untapped, on display for all to see at, at Cupic, day three. The second time slot, 9am, we have Samoa and the Cook Islands and the under 13 girls. fashion paper scissors rock off and the cookies have the first win of the day it looked as though uh, the scissors was too strong for the paper there let's see if uh, that's uh, a sign of things to come And as we wait for the uh, central timekeeper, it looks like uh, Kalarina Sampson lining up, lining up the shoe to get us underway. Great take on the full there from the Samoan uh, number one. Big carry there from the fronty. The leg drive, just maintaining that leg drive. Getting her back up to near halfway on play one. Oh, started with so much promise. A couple of good early carries. Ball security's let them down on this occasion. Cook Island's first opportunity with the footy. Oh, and running into the number eight and number ten is probably not high on the to-do list, but uh, here we are. See if the Cook Island girls, there they are, over the advantage line. 
still driving. They're finding a way to, to get forward momentum here. Bit, bit of a slower play the ball, but they're already outside their 40. Knocking on the door of halfway. They're going to knock a little harder because that defence from the Samoan girls is absolutely spot on to start this game. Giving him nothing. Good early contact, so they look to shift. There's some space and numbers. The centre three quarter just tucks it under the wing and gets it gets it up near to near halfway. One out to the fronty. It's a great carry. Good early contact, but uh, she just kept finding a way to drive her legs and get get forward momentum. And that's Calarina putting it on the shoe. Well taken there from the Samoan fullback. And she's still going, Paradise. Great leg drive. Finding a way to keep... She's been let down by the uh, the handling of, of her teammate. It was, a, it was a great carry. She caught it inside her own 20-metre line. Gets out to the 40. Looks to offload. And unfortunately, the ball, ball goes to ground. Advantage Cook Islands early in this game. 39 metres out. Scrum. There's a 3-3 split here. What are they going to do? Where is their strike? We're about to find out from the base of the scrum. That's this. Oh, and you can see why. Just absorbs the contact and just keeps moving forward. 29 metres out. Two pass. Again, post-contact metres. Very good start from this uh, Cook Island side. Calarina digging into the line there and giving her back row a, a good opportunity for a one-on-one -on -one tackle. The little general here, Calarina, keeping the ball out in two hands, keeping the defence in two minds. She's tackled on last, so what's their kick option? They go to their fullback. And they've found an error from the kick. What's the referee saying here? Do we think we've had an advantage? No advantage. Cook Island's loose head and feet. 10 metres out from the goal line. Samoa's absorbed the early pressure, but another six tackles to make. See if they can withstand another attacking raid from this Cook Island side. Big shape out to the left-hand edge. And there we go again from the base of the scrum. And she, with good reason, she absorbs the contact and just keeps backing, backing her way towards the goal line. Referee calls held. The line speed there from Samoa. Putting the dummy half under pressure. Oh, that's a great tackle from the Samoan back rower. Serene. Oh, there's the little general. Calarina out to her back row. Offload. There's some hearty resolve in this Samoan defence. They're finding a way. They just keep turning up for one another. Pass out the back. Goes to ground. Dived on. Tackled immediately. Last play. They yielded a uh, error from the last cross field kick. Not, not to be this time around, but Samoa to work it off their goal line now. Two metres out, play one. It's a great early carry. Gets the, uh, gets the set moving. Oh, great early contact and just finds a way to keep poking her nose through. That's what this Samoan side need if they're going to be working it off their goal line. left dead from the Cook Islands the uh, the back rower being made to uh, defend 
And here's some ascendancy from the Samoan team. They're up over halfway. Last play. What kicking options are available to... Oh, they've got hand. They've got numbers. Oh, unfortunately, the pass is just behind. Just behind. If, if we get that pass out in front, I think it could be a different story. But not to be. Change over. Referee sends it back. Cook Islands, 35 metres out from their own goal line. Full set of six in front of them. Good early contact here from the Samoan middles. Attacking with their defence, forcing the ball carrier back on initial contact. And they've found an error. Lost in the play of the ball. So this is the first real opportunity that uh, Samoa will have inside the Cook Islands half. Full set of six. Sam, how are you seeing it so far? Hey, Nick, what a, what a great start for both teams. Both a both, uh, bit nervous. You can see the Samoan team a fairly uh, uh, on attack with their size and uh, the Cook Island team, they are electing to pass the ball, uh, use their skill out wide and it's presenting an entertaining game for this level, a high level game and credit to the coaches uh, to um, prepare their players and um, what a great game it's been. Seven and a half minutes down and the scorekeeper is still yet to be troubled. But Samoa now, 13 metres out from the goal line. They play underneath the front rower. L gets within two metres of the goal line. And just like that, she's tackled short. Referee Johnny on the spot there. Can't argue with him from 78 metres away where I'm standing. Before my own eyes, a mousetrap. That's what breaks the deadlock. A good old-fashioned mousetrap. Samoa 4, Cook Islands nil with the kick to come. This broadcast brought to you by the Maroons Foundation. Yeah, and a deserved try for Samoa. Uh, Cook Islands giving the ball over in their own half. It was only evident that you know, the size of the girls you know, were dominate and they capitalised on that, coming from the left side of the post and Dummy had, had called the move. The mouse trap, what a classic. And uh, we see now Samoa 4-0 up with the kick to come. Just to add to that, I think the Cook Islands shouldn't be too too worried. I think they've got a, a good game plan. I think their their, their, their skill level looks looks uh, pretty sound. They're shifting the ball from one end of the field to the other. Uh, we can see Samoa. They're taking it up the middle, you know, presenting it to, uh, to the Cook's defence. They'd be sort of, you know, handling that. But, yeah, we're getting coming to the end of the first half. So the kick is successful. this is going to be a good game in the end. As you said, Sam, we're about uh, halfway through this opening stanza and the, the replay. The, the deception. Haley, she sold him. She sold him an absolute lie, and it gives the uh, gives L, the fronty, one of the easier tries I reckon she'll score in this uh, carnival. Yes, well, I wasn't wasn't expecting it, but. Uh... As I saw it unfold, we were just, yes, what a great play. And the little General Calarina getting us back underway. Oh. Unfortunately, the uh, 
the fundamentals of uh, staying on side have just slipped slightly and uh, referee awards the penalty at the centre halfway. Samara on the attack now. 40 metres out. Play one. Little error at dummy half there, so the Cook Island side uh, let off the hook from the uh, the offside penalty from the uh, kick chase, and that uh, that pressure is instantly relieved by a little little knock on at uh, dummy half. Colarina feeds the scrum, and like the previous two, the lock picks up the footy. Absorbs that contact and just keeps finding a way. Just whatever it takes. Outside backs coming in, looking for work now. Steel three, four metres. Little error there from the Cook Islands and uh, the, our try scorer. Barnstorming run. 15, 20 metres up to within 20 metres of the uh, of the goal line. And then we use a, we get a little bit of pace out of uh, dummy half there. That's the that's the Samoan four, Lafour. Short. Very good defence from the left edge of the Cook Islands. Unfortunately, they can't defend back-to-back -back tackles, though. And then, again, we have a dive over from dummy half. Samoa 10. Cook Islands nil with a kick to come. Try time to Samoa. Yes, I was going to say, and Nick, that um, the Samoan seven. coach would have probably um, had seven. his notes written down when Samoa lost that ball um, at an advantage and then handing the ball over to the Cooks. And as they uh, the Cooks took the ball out they probably lost their way a little bit and um yeah so again Samoa came back had a good opportunity and found the line by dummy half on the right corner yeah so um yeah 10 nil. still some good things from, from Cook Island I think you know they just got to get their way uh, back into the game uh, I think the halfback been going pretty good um, she'll, you know, she'll probably learn from that and rally her team together and get back to a good kickoff set and get back downfield. Conversion unsuccessful. Score remains Samoa 10. Cook Islands nil. And Haley finds some space on the short side. Slams that footy down. game is still well and truly in the balance. Ten points is uh, by no stretch an insurmountable lead. The Cook Islands showed some real uh, promise early when they were attacking the uh, the line of the Samoan team. There'll be four or five more sets left before half time. So they'll have at least two opportunities with the footy. As they shift to the left, the Samoan team. It's a great carry from the uh, from the 15, Kumara. And on the off the back of that, we have another great carry. Close to the left hand touch line. That was Hannah. And then off the back of that, another middle forward. Strong carry gets him within 12 meters of the touch line. 
little darting run from Haley. She was able to plant the ball down on, on this right-hand touch line. Gets within three metres on the left now. Good, good level of skill from the uh, from the 15 from Samoa there. Ball out in front. Keep defence. Uh, keep the defence guessing. And as we shift to the right hand, right hand side, tackled just short of the line. What can we? Uh, oh, changeover. Last tackle. The cookies now needing to work it off their own goal line. Just an opportunity to roll up the sleeves and uh, get to work here. Been tackled into touch. Very solid defence from Samoa there. A 10 0 with three, just over three minutes remaining. Quite a pivotal moment in this match. If the Samoan side can sneak another one, by no stretch is 16 or 14 insurmountable, but when it's a three score game, what does that do to the psyche of this Cook Island side? They've started the set well in defence. The little general. She was good with the footy in hand, but she was just uh, dominant in defence. And they withstand another oppo uh, attacking opportunity there from Samoa. And they've got numbers. Oh, is that that could be a good odd. Oh, no, he's seen a hand in there. I thought that might have been a Mario Fenix special, square off the melon. But uh, not to be. The referee's uh, seen a little hand in there. Score remains 10-0. Just over two minutes remaining. This is a credit to um, the coaches again. As you've seen, that, uh, the defence of the Cook Islands, that they, they've really sort of tightened up um, and uh, been pulled out at that previous set. Um, yeah, they, they would have been disappointed by themselves, but they really sort of worked hard on the defence and um, come up with the ball again. Um, Yes, yeah, Samoa's in a good advantage here with the field position, and um, it'll be a hard task for uh, yeah for the Cooks to to really manage to get downfield and get a good, good kick away. Play one, ten metres out. Good strong carry, but met just as strongly in defence. 15 metres out. The Cooks looking to work it off their own goal line. Three defenders there from Samoa. Bit of ruck interference. The, uh, the foot of Kuma are coming back through the ruck, causing a breakdown. Let's see what they can do with the ball now. That is uh, that is a good, strong carry. Really getting wound up now to, to get uh, the Cook Island side on the front foot. 30 metres out from their goal line. They're going to need more than just the one, though. Oh, that's good, solid defence from L. Playing back inside. Don't know if I'd go back to L after the treatment she just gave. Oh, yeah. There's an element of danger involved with that. Let's see what the referee is choosing to do here. Might have to issue a warning. And it looks like there's been a sin bin on half on the stroke of half time. The dangerous element of that tackle has landed the uh, Samoan player in the sin bin. That could be a real talking point uh, in the context of this game. 13 on 12 for the opening part of the second half. Let's see if the uh, Cook Island side can capitalise on, on the extra... On the extra player. Indeed, the Samoan defensive side just before half time, they were all set nice and tight. 
the uh, line speed was great, uh, and then unfortunately, they, um, yes, they probably just uh, forget to, uh, in the tackle, and, um, and now we're down to one man short, one person short, and and so more for the start of the second half. But uh, yeah, credit to Cook Islands, they're, they're hanging in there. As you said, Nick, uh, I don't think that uh, the scoreline reflects the, the effort and the, the intent that the Cook Islands are presenting to Samoa. Um, but yeah, Samoa has very, been, been very dominant from the start. And um, yeah, they'll probably uh, coach will get behind them and uh, continue that, uh, that form.
And as we welcome the players back out on the field for the second half, broadcast brought to you by Marone's Foundation. Very grateful for their support. The live stream. The commentator's salary all covered by uh, Marone's Foundation. And as we uh, look to start the second half, after an enterprising first half, Samoa 10, Cook Islands nil. The game very much in the balance. Oh. And the uh, kick hasn't quite uh, done what it's required to do, and that's travel the 10 metres. So to start this second half... Penalty Cook Islands for an incorrect restart from the uh, Samoan kickoff. Not the not the greatest start for Samoa. Needed a deep down into the corner, just so they can get that advantage of field position. But yeah, we've got a good start for Cook Island now. Let's see what they do. That's great contact from the eight, uh, Zoe. Just fine in the target zone. That that just at the bottom of the footy. And that initial contact just jolts the ball free. So they wrestle back a little bit of uh, the disadvantage from the kickoff not going 10 metres. Scrum, 45 metres out from their goal line. Little disjointed start to the second half, but we've got a scrum midfield, 45 metres out. Yeah, that's good patience showing from Samoa. You know, they've got a player, uh, they're less one player, and they're just sort of managing, trying to get their repositioning going, so. It's a good early carry from the uh, Samoan right edge there. And as we go, two passes now out to Bailey. It's a good carry. Looks as though there's been a dangerous palm there. Uh, referee signalling that uh, the the outstretched arm made contact with the face and neck of the defenders. And that disjointed start to half number two continues. The Cookies now with the f opportunity to work it out of their own end. Free kick, 38 metres out from their own goal line. And they go to their front rower. It's brought down to the ground well in, in the tackle from the uh, Samoan outside back, Lafour. And as they approach uh, the halfway line. It's another good tackle from the centre three quarter of Samoa. A lot of uh, attacking shape out to this right edge. But again, they're met at the advantage line from this Samoan defence. The resolve being shown at present to keep the duck egg for the Cook Islands on the scoreboard. But as they work back behind the ruck, they seem to have found a little opening. And kick downfield. Found grass. Well brought in. Yeah, a little, uh, little hair pull there. Yeah, both teams taking time to settle into the, since the kickoff. I think the next few sets here, we should see them settle down a bit. It's a great carry from Zoe. She's up over the halfway and draws it. And draws a penalty for her team. Not only does she carry the footy after contact, but she forces the opposition into some uh, trickery there, and rightfully so, penalised for stripping with more than one in the tackle. Samoa now. The opportunity to attack. 30 metres out from the Cook Island goal line. And Zoe, with another great carry, gets them up to the 30. Keeping in mind that this Samoan side is one player down. The uh, sin bin at the back end of that first half. But they seem to uh, they seem to be finding some cracks in this Cook Island defence. 
See what uh, the see what the cookies uh, defense can stand up like here. Appears as though she's broken the tackle, and over she goes. That's a try to number sixteen. That is Peyton Penny. Referee there just explaining that uh, the defenders appeared to fall off, so she well within her rights to to promote that ball and uh, get it over the goal line. Samoa fourteen, Cook Islands nil. What a pleasing pleasing result. You know, from an uh, unsettled start for Samoa, I think the coach probably message, main message at halftime was uh, stay composed after having just one uh, player reduced in the team and coming back with a, uh, a try like that. Uh, sort of now stamp, starting to stamp the, um, the game for this under-13 finals for Cupic 2024. It's been a crack of a game, Nick. It has, mate. Uh, really been ebbing and flowing, going from end to end. I think despite a couple of lapses in concentration, I think the execution for the most part is, has been of a really high standard in this uh, 13 girls playoff final. Yes, both teams are st sticking to the game plan. The structure looks... As as if they're, they're, they're enjoying the overall game, some more using their size and capitalising on taking the game up the middle and then we see the Cooks spreading the ball with their skill and talent and pace and yeah, I think uh, for the Cooks, I think uh, that, uh, yeah, that strategy could see them reward coming down the sideline as the game goes on. I think you're right. If they, uh, if they get the opportunity to to shift the ball around and and get this uh, get the footy to some of their mobile outside backs, they'll give themselves an opportunity. 16 nil. By no stretch of the imagination is that uh, not something that this very talented Cook Island side can come back from. There's Zoe again. She's been a real point of difference in the start of this second half. She just winds up, keeps the legs driving. Up to the 40 metre line now. Oh, a little error in the play of the ball. Just when, just when you think that they're generating a bit of momentum. A little error in the play of the ball. We'll have a scrum, 40 metres out from the Cook Island goal line. Opportunity now for the Cook Island side to uh, to wind up from the back fence and generate a bit of momentum. Ball fed. And they lock forward, picks it up from the base of the scrum. Pinches 12, 13 metres. It's a good, good opening to the set. Oh, it appears as though the uh, defensive line uh, didn't wait for the go call. They've been pinged for being offside. Oh, that's a uh, that's a hell of a good start to the set defensively. But the cookies inside the uh, Samoan half. Again, great contact. The uh, Cook Island side is on is still on nil, and with good reason, based on the uh, defensive effort that's being shown, especially in this set of six. But the Cook Islands now generating some post-contact meters. The back rower. The little general puts it on the toe. Kick is only as good as its chase, and the Cook Island girls are... In and around that footy and giving him no breathing room. Mm. The line speed is uh, to match as well. Play two and they've made two metres this set. Another dummy half run. Another good contact from the uh, back rower for the Cook Islands. Mm. 
And they continue to work it off their goal line. It's a very good carry and very good skill shown to find a pass. Work it towards the numbers. A little conservative there, but off the back of a couple of uh, minor handling errors. I think uh, that might have been the right choice. And here we go again, Zoe. Charging run. Last play. She's really stepped up, uh, Chloe. And, um, yes, it's the, uh, the her other forward partners come off, but she's really showed some leadership in these last couple of minutes. As uh, the Cook Island side uh, get a scrum 30 metres out from their goal line. There's 10 minutes remaining, just under 10 minutes remaining, and they'll be looking to break this duck. From the base of the scrum, they pass. And this is dominating defence from the Samoan girls. Driving them back to the 20. Just starting the set on the uh, on the front foot defensively. Numbers in. Three in there. The centre three quarter. She's getting through a mountain of... Uh, and rewarded for the mountain of defensive work that she's done so far in this match. Another little error in the play the ball. That's come on the back of some great defensive work from the two sets back. Uh, you could see that the, 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 the Samoan girls were... Uh, in the line, they were tight, they were talking to each other and they were moving up with a good line speed and that's the reward you get and yeah, so credit again to the coaches for, you know, making sure that these girls understand the, the defence that they need to perform at this level and, and I go back to, this is a good game for yeah, this under 13 final and From the base of the scrum the uh, Ellie. Ellie has scored from the base of the scrum there. Yeah. Extending the lead of Samoa to 20 points to nil with the kick to come. Try scored by number 10. And what a classic individual try from a, a forward and just taking the d defence on and finding the gap and then using her speed and pace and getting over the line. What a great try. Look, the last time these two sides met, uh, 16 points to four in favour of Samoa. We're sitting at 20 nil now. I don't think that uh, I don't think that score reflects the heart, the attitude that's been shown by this Cook Island side. It's uh, a little bit animated behind the goal line. You can imagine there's uh, there's seven, just over seven minutes to go in. Uh, in this 9am playoff game. They'll be sure to uh, to play for for a little bit of pride and, and, and maybe jag a couple back in, in this the final part of this second stanza. And that's a great kick. She converts the she converts the uh, front rowers try, extends the lead 22 nil. Score now on field number one. There's Samuel 22 for Collins there. And we're back on broadcast. Brought to you by the Maroons Foundation. Oh... That is great early contact, forcing the error. That's just a really good example of uh, not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. A little winger for uh, the cookies there. Alex just finds a way to force the error. Just great contact. Yeah, that, that, that was a great play. Her body position was ideal. Her legs weren't tight and the shoulder contact in there. That, that can't get anything better than a uh, copybook tackle. 
and it gives their gives the Cook Island side the opportunity to uh, to break this to break the drought. It's been 34, 34 and a half minutes without troubling the scorekeeper, but uh, they're 20 metres out, attacking the goal line. You can see the little general marshalling the troops. Over the top, she finds space. But the, the uh, scramble defence of Samoa, they find a way. Still in good attacking position. And numbers. The, the halfback getting tackled on uh, second to last play. Last one. What can they muster up here? Good little shoe in behind the line. Nice grubbing kick. Solid first contact. And if you want the opposition to be starting a set, this is probably one of the best places for it. Make them work out of a corner. Roll up their sleeves and, and get to work. Couple of dummy half runs to start the set. Good footwork from the centre three quarter. And then, oh, too smart. One-on-one, -on -one, and then one-on-one -on -one again, like a thief in the night. She thought she had it, and then it's straight back in the arms of Samoa. It's going back to Kalarina's kick. What a mature play. Uh, the chases could have been better, uh, but, yeah, it was good field position for Cook Islands. But, yeah, steel on steel. There's Samoa now. Work up over halfway. Here's the lock forward. Just a strip there. In the closing stage of this second half, Sam, what, what would you like to see from this uh, Cook Island side in, in uh, defensive efforts? The... the Early message in the first half to tighten up a little bit, just so that they can handle the, um, you know, the the, the forwards of the the Samoan team. They they actually settled it with that. It looks like they they've spread out and and just have trust in that defence. And then if they get the ball back, um, they've got enough skill and talent to you know get over the try line. But it's a great solo try from Tamara. She just saw some space, pinned the ears back. Too big, too fast, too strong on this occasion. Samoa extend their lead. 26 points to nil. Kick to come. And it's try time for Samoa. Try scored by number six, Tamara Tolu. Yeah, that, that's a good sign of a mature team. If they can keep this under 13 side Samoa together, they've got a good understanding now of uh, you know the good fundamentals of the game of just keeping it tight, moving it forward, and then getting it downfield. And um, in this final here, they'll remember it, you know, and um, it'll shape up a good future for you know not only uh, Cupid Rugby League here for the women's, but also the the overall rugby league. Uh, a women's competition with these young girls coming through and remind you that these these you know under 13 girls are playing a very class high class game of rugby league yeah you're not wrong sam and I, and I don't want to say i'm impressed because the skill level that's been on show for this uh carnival has been nothing short of spectacular she great kick great kick Samoa 28, mm. Cook Islands nil. Tomorrow in the closing stages of uh, this 9am playoff Samoa, game. And on the other side of the of the paddock, we have you know Cook Island side, a young girls side here, just yeah presented a very good uh, game of football as well, a different style, you know spreading the ball out when they can, and they stuck to their their game plan, and that that's really what matters, you know, is that they, you know have trust with each other and then um yeah they, they they definitely seem to be all all both teams enjoying you know the finals which is uh yeah excellent to see
And the shadows are full time. The Cook Islands kick off. Didn't didn't quite have to play the ball before uh, before the referee had blown his whistle, so rightly called full time in game two of yeah. day three at Cupic. Cook Island team they can hold their head up, you know, despite the score. Yeah, they they played this final with, with good sportswomanship and and um, and character. Yeah, and well done to Samoa. They they really sort of put put together a really good final play. And again, I go back to the coaches. What a great job that they've done on both sides. 